you are to discuss the movie. Hey, how are we doing? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm happy. Uh, so tell me, what was it like to get paid to play video games? Um, it was amazing. I was living uh, essentially the life of a professional gamer, um, except I was in the comfort of my room. But uh, it was it was super cool. The game itself was very stressful, but I mean, I'm not complaining. But you did have co-ops. Well, oh, yeah. Was better, was a better co-op player? Ooh. Kyle. Yeah. Get, Kyle. Yeah. We won't tell Catherine you said that. <laughs> no, please don't. But uh, it, it was, it was Kyle, yeah. It was Kyle. And what has you so excited about Map of Tiny Perfect Things? Um, I'm just excited to see how people perceive it and like seeing how different it is compared to other time anomaly movies. Um, it's just really, it's it's a really good journey. It's a fun journey. Um, and it's also a very cute, it's a cute story too. It's a perfect movie to watch for Valentine's Day weekend too. But um, it's really cool because you actually feel like, I mean, essentially other time loop movies, you feel like you're watching them in the time loop, but you also feel like watching it, like you're with his frustrations and with his challenges in this movie too, of being stuck in this thing and you know doing the things he's doing in it. Um, so I'm just really excited for people to actually kind of experience that too while watching the movie. Mm -hmm. And uh, had you watched Groundhog Day before oh, yes. this? Oh yes. Oh yeah, I love that movie. What was it something something about that that you thought? Oh, maybe we get to watch here. Um. Ooh, without giving too much away. Tricky. I, <laughs> I guess the, because there's certain things that are like that, but like they, they also flip it or it's like, it's a subtle twist on certain things. So like certain relationships, you're like, oh, okay. I see what they did here. Or like there's subtle nods in there. Where it's like, ah, oh, okay, cool, cool. Or like they recognize certain things without giving it too much away. Just pay attention to the relationships, how they, how they play out and like the things they actually say too, that you'll be like, oh, okay, this is a cool little hint. And what scene from this film did you enjoy watching? Did you find a little more on the emotional, appreciating the little things? Um, I can say for sure, my favorite thing is the sequences that happen. Like, uh, cause I know you did with the ones with Kyle that he has, they're so cool. Because just seeing him do it, it's like, dang dude, like, you know, like he's <laughs> done it however many times in this, in the film. But like, it shows like, how much he's actually relishing in like, just being stuck in this in this endless day. Uh, that's probably my favorite thing watching in that movie too. And then just seeing the relationship build up like with uh, Kyle and Catherine's characters, but mm -hmm. the sequences are just so cool. Agree. And to finalize, what would be your endless, and I'm not gonna ask you endless day to live, it would okay. be your endless birth year. Oh, oh, that's such a good one. Oh, um, Shoot, this year, I'm 23, I, this one. This one? This one, even though right now we're, pandemic, actually I'll take that back, maybe, maybe I'll do 20, 20, when I was 20. When you were 20. For okay. sure that one. Okay, well now I'm gonna keep you thinking about when you were 20 and everything you did that year. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. And Thank you. uh, good luck with all your future projects for this year. Thank you, thank you. Thanks for having me. You're welcome, thank you.